Mexico generates 115,000 tons of rubbish a day and is struggling to deal with it. In the capital, Mexico City, the situation is so bad that the Human Rights Commission says it's violating citizens' rights. A third of that rubbish is organic, food that could be used for an estimated 28 million Mexicans going hungry. Lourdes is one of them, a single mum struggling to feed four children. Things turned around for her when she discovered her local food bank. Every week she gets eight kilos of staples like fruit, veg and rice for just two and a half dollars, a fraction of the normal price. I couldn't give milk to my children or bread, sometimes tortillas that we made ourselves, but it was very difficult. When we went to the food bank, it changed our lives. Food banks are springing up across Mexico, together with a growing social conscience of how much the country is wasting. This one is part of a national network of 57. It alone helps 22,000 families using food that's hovering around its sell-by date, donated by supermarket chains, markets and local shops. But it's actually at the beginning of the production chain, where money and technical know-how are often lacking, that Mexico is wasting most of its food. Most of the food loss happens in the fields because at harvest time prices are low anyway, and it's too expensive for farmers to transport and distribute anything but the best quality fruits and vegetables. The rest is thrown away. That's a common problem in developing countries. Pablo Ramirez from the UN says a dramatic change in infrastructure is needed to fix it. He's meeting with the country's politicians, but says it's often not their priority. It's new laws, new legal framework to, um, to promote a better management of food, production, transportation, consumption, uh, in order to prevent the, the food waste in the country. And uh, so I would say that uh, parliamentarians can really help uh, to, to intervene this problem. UN data shows that countries here in Latin America waste less food than in more developed ones, but what's thrown away could still feed 300 million people. Large parts of Mexico still don't have food banks, but families like the Garcias are proof that where these schemes exist, they do make a difference. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.